Look, I think more broadly the federal government deserves to have uh, deserves a pat on the back for the way that they have managed this crisis. They deserve to be uh, congratulated for their, the line that they've taken, the measures that they've taken. It's been uh, a big reason why it hasn't, the virus hasn't spread more broadly. And if we can just remember to self-isolate, whatever that looks like for you, that's probably the smart thing to do. Gemma, can I, can, I, a, can I make please, a point, uh, one more point? Yeah. There is an upside yeah. to this. There may, it may not seem like it at the moment, but I want to take you back to 2018. Now, in 2018, the Centre for Independent Studies uh, did a survey of people born between 1980 and 1996. Mm. And the question was, what is the best political system? And 58%, 58% said socialism. Well, fast forward to now, and think of socialism and the sh toilet paper shortage in the context of Soviet Russia and North Korea and bread queues and that kind of thing. And all the, and I've made a list here, the pushing and the shoving, the inconvenience, the scarcity. Mm. Uh, people who think socialism is a good idea are getting a good illus illustration of how it works when there are shortages. Now, can I just extend that one step further very quickly? Most, Very quickly, if most you must. Australians <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't probably be, uh, realise that all we have in Australia is three weeks worth of fuel oil. That's it. Mm. At any one time, three weeks. So if we get blown, a ship blown apart off Singapore or in the South China Sea, then you'll see the fights on the forecourt of the servos. Look, you know, no, no doubt that this has shown, I think, you know, motivation aside, Cam, people wanting to protect their families. Yeah, I understand that. But there's punch-ups in the toilet paper aisle in Woolworths. I mean, come on, people, <laughs> let's lift. Let's lift, for the, for the love of God. I mean, I, my heart was warm today. I saw something on the Twatters about um, a, a couple of neighbourhood kids, I think it might have been in Sydney, who got their hands on some loo paper and they were going around to their elderly neighbours and making sure they had enough. Great stuff, kids. You're the future of this country. But, you know, my view on socialism is that anybody, any of the young kiddos who think it's the way to go need to do a mandatory gap year in Venezuela before Absolutely. making a firm decision. Yep. And that is not a joke. Mm. That is literally what I think they should be yep. doing.